A very good day. My name's Callum, by the way, from DX Commander. Now, I, I live stream on a Friday. Golf 6 Alpha Delta. Golf 6 Alpha Delta. There was a couple of people today that I nearly said, just talk louder, as if, you know, that would magically make it happen. But funnily enough, it actually would. I can tell if somebody's speaking, you know, if they said Alpha Bravo Charlie Delta, and I can always hear the Alpha but the Delta is really quiet. It means they're going Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. And the Delta is tailing off. So what they need to do, and well, there's a couple of techniques, all right? You can easily be louder by effectively making sure you're, if you've got a processor on the radio, making sure it's on and it's adjusted correctly. Just go to the manual, all right? The trick that I used to have years ago and why I probably I'm so bloody loud on the radio now is that uh, you have very often you'll have some sort of signal meter or whatever and when you go into transmit you see the power meter go now very often you'll have a setting on the radio to show the power rating at 10 50 or 100 watts so let's say you're a 10 watt station and and you've only got right from there to there it means peak power is going to be you know, here, it'll be 10, 10 watts, effectively. Now, if you've got a 10 watt dial, then 10 watts will be right over here. But if it's just a 10 watt radio, hopefully you'll see the full scale deflection, all right? But anyway, where I'm getting to is this. When I talk, I used to be in the habit of watching the meter, you know, the um, audio, to make sure I was modulating the electronics and there was RF going out the door. So you'll see what happens is I'm watching the deflection actually, and I'm always making sure that I'm getting enough. So if I'm at 200 watts, if you key down on CW on Morse code, you'd get 200 watts out, right? So I'm not going to get 200 watts out on voice, but I might see the flick up to 150. All right. If I've only got the, it's only flicking up to 20 watts, that's no bloody good. Now, it'd be different if you're an FM carrier. Okay, so an FM carrier, all right, you key the microphone and you get this your carrier, all right? And when you talk, the frequency changes by, let's say, 12 and a half kilohertz. And that modulates inside the carrier, effectively. But on SSB, when you talk, and this is sort of exaggerated, your voice peaks are here, at the, at right at the top. What the processor very often will do, it will bring these peaks down. There it is there, they're bringing the peaks down, but they will bring the quieter bits up. All right, now this is how, so they'll go up, and they'll go down. So. Overall, you'll get a more balanced approach. In fact, I've got a uh, little thing on a screen here. Look, uh, where did that go? And before compression, and then after compression, it becomes fatter. So, by adjusting your compressor, that will help you out as well. But frankly, just sometimes talking louder will help, and you can train yourself by watching the meter at the same time as very often I was I think it was a mic seven this morning mic seven alpha whatever but he got embarrassed and didn't want to go again but if he he needs to pick up the microphone and say it okay now I've kind of got almost these days a natural compressor in my voice and you can do that too and quite a lot of radio amateurs I think have done the same thing they've watched that meter and gone oh I can I can I can make this happen by talking loudly. If you're not talking enough, that is going to happen. So getting your processor right, getting the ALC right, and getting your power level right, okay? Because this, because this, this here, your voice peaks is the power. But on FM and AM to an extent, your voice peaks can be buried in with the carrier and it's not so bad. So if you're a two meter FM user, for instance, you might never have the technique to modulate your signal and make it get an inside this envelope here so that even the low bits are louder. 
So you can be louder, right? Basically, talk louder and get your processor on, get it adjusted. Normally, most radios, most Kenwoods, and the Yaesus that I've had in the past, if you set everything at 50%, you know, the factory, that'll probably work, all right? In fact, in the old days, it just used to be a button. You couldn't adjust it. You just had the processor on or off, you know, and, it, and that was it. I suppose you could open it up and adjust all the twiddly knobs. And they do that now. They give us the, they give us the opportunity. But just set everything at 50%. And in the main, you'll be right. And get your processor on and just build your dynamic range. Actually, you want to decrease the dynamic range so it's just loud the whole time. All right? But if all else fails, talk loudly. All right? Next video's here. I've got a playlist underneath that you might enjoy as well. All right? I'll see you next time. Enjoy your radio. Keep talking loudly. Bye for now.